Greetings, Medical Service Corps, and happy 73rd birthday. As your director, I am truly humbled to represent you, a Corps of dedicated, highly skilled, and diverse individuals who collectively are indispensable to the mission of the Navy and Marine Corps. While this year's celebration will be different than in past years with physical distancing and limitations on the number of personnel who can gather together, our birthday is no less special or meaningful. Our core always has been agile and flexible, rising to today's challenges while shaping our future. Whether it's in celebration of our birthday or finding ways to test our fleet and fleet marine force for infectious disease threat. You are leading the charge for innovation in anticipation of current and future needs of our warfighters. And above all, you are leading through service. Speaking of which, I put a call out asking what leadership through service means to you, to your specialties, and your response was incredible. Your responses were as diverse as our core. But as unique as your responses were, there was a common thread through each. You are all serving the needs of the sailors and Marines. For, we are fortunate to serve in order to accomplish the mission. And so, without further ado, here's what you have to say about leadership through service. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Katherine Buchanan. I'm the Audiologist and Hearing Conservation Program Manager at Navy Medicine Readiness Training Command 29 Palms, located in 29 Palms, California. At 29 Palms, we've been leading through service by successfully implementing the Navy's first virtual audiology program. This platform will be utilized at multiple facilities and remote health clinics to keep our warfighters and staff members medically ready. This service has had its value by keeping access to care readily available, especially since travel has been limited lately. Navy Audiology is proud to be a part of the Medical Service Corps and will continue to lead through service. Happy 73rd birthday, MSC. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Commander Melissa Mesqua, the Behavior Research Development Dietitian located at OBNAV N17 here in Millington, Tennessee. Our focus is the culture of excellence. I am leading through service by researching and identifying ways to improve technology and nutrition and our use of dietitians in the fleet. My job is not to just evaluate nutrition programs and resources available, but to figure out how it can be improved. The projects I support will shape not only the Medical Service Corps, but the Navy at large by collaborating with the fleet on pilots, innovation, and technology that improve readiness and performance of our warfighters. Navy entomology was born out of necessity in World War II as a reaction to battlefield diseases. Today's Navy entomologists work proactively as mission-critical force health protection specialists. Our diverse team of specialists train personnel on the latest techniques to identify and control pest problems. Using novel technologies, we conduct pathogen detection under laboratory and field settings to make informed force health protection decisions. These results protect the fleet, strengthen collaboration, and secure better relationships with partner nations. Our mission encompasses coordination, development, and implementation of disease and pest control programs. We manage pests and provide entomological guidance domestically and abroad. Our vision is set beyond 2020. We lead as a team. Aloha, I'm Lieutenant Connie Ramsberg, Aerospace and Operational Physiologist in the Medical Service Corps. As the Air Medical Safety Officer for Marine Aircraft Group 24 in Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii, here's how aerospace physiologists are leading through service. When thousands of lives were threatened by the Kilauea volcano eruption, we deployed in direct support to civilian authorities. In preparation for a mass evacuation, we provided chemical, biological, and radiological analysis and training, ensuring our air crew were protected at all times. While deployed with Marine Rotational Forces in Darwin, Australia, we fielded and trained air crew on cutting edge night vision technology, enhancing warfighter lethality and power projection in the Pacific. Leading through service is also about enhancing readiness through joint collaboration. 
conducting real sickness mishap drills with joint personnel recovery centers. We're consistently increasing air crew survivability and readiness throughout indo -Pitcom. It's been an honor leading through service here in Hawaii. Ha'oli lahanao. Happy birthday, Medical Service Corps. Huya. My name is Lieutenant Rochelle Magalash, and I'm an environmental health officer stationed with First Marine Aircraft Wing, Okinawa, Japan. I lead through service by focusing on the community. I manage the Environmental Health Officer Facebook page. During this pandemic, we are able to connect with each other so that we can interpret guidance and share best practices on how we are implementing and advising and recommending leadership on the guidance that's being put out. I lead through service by mentorship and teamwork. I've been collaborating with some smart, experienced environmental health officers to design a program that will train incoming EHOs so that we can give them the tools in their toolbox to become successful MSCs and have fulfilling careers as environmental health officers. Hello, my name is Lieutenant Commander Bradley Wells, Medical Service Corps Officer and Navy Physical Therapist assigned to Marine Special Operations Command in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Since joining the Medical Service Corps in 1948, Navy physical therapists have strived to serve wherever they have been called. We are proud to be a part of the Medical Service Corps, and we are dedicated to operational readiness. Greetings and happy 73rd birthday to the United States Navy Medical Service Corps. As we celebrate, the podiatry subcommunity would like to reflect on our momentous service and impact to the worldwide Navy. During this extraordinary time in history, our far-reaching capabilities have been maximized and our contributions are endless. Podiatrists continue to represent the legacy of our Corps by serving on the front lines, including deployments in support of the COVID-19 pandemic, COVID-19 screening and triage watch standing, and implementing policies and procedures revolutionizing virtual health care. In today's social climate, the MSC vision holds true more than ever. We are one core of many specialties meeting today's needs and tomorrow's challenges. Service is in our name. Greetings, I'm Ensign Mike Williams, Chief Information Officer at Naval Health Point for More. Leading through service is defined to me by one ideal, servant leadership. A servant leader puts the needs of others before their own, and that has been the principal tenet of our daily endeavors. Being an MSC officer in the IT subspecialty, and as a prior enlisted sailor in the same field, it has been an honor and a privilege leading those who devote their time and effort in refining such a critical skill set. IT personnel are often behind the scenes working tirelessly on infrastructure, which at times can feel thankless. But when operating in the spirit of service, we look for ways to improve the process and to increase the efficiency of those with support. This was most apparent as my team worked hand in hand with the DHA, Cerner, DOD branches, and our super users while transitioning to MHS Genesis. Additionally, by serving on the Informatics Steering Committee, we were able to exceed the needs by working and leading together. Collectively, we shaped the service to our healthcare providers and ultimately those we care for. Unwittingly, my team learned valuable lessons, such as support is just as important as direction, and that you win together or lose alone. This ideal accumulated in us being awarded the Captain Joan Dooman Awards for both IT Team of the Year and Enlisted IT Member of the Year, solely because we chose to put the needs of others ahead of ourselves. Happy 73rd birthday, Medical Service Corps. Continue to lead the way, all the way. Happy 73rd birthday, Medical Service Corps. I'm proud to be a part of a, such a great community that's prided itself on professionalism, dedication to mission, diversity, and high reliability. This year, we celebrate our birthday with a theme, Leading Through Service. As I reflect on my last 20 years of service, I look back on all of my tours and realize that my commitment was to servant leadership. It was to building stepping stones for those coming behind me. 
As we move forward in the progression of our Navy mission, maritime superiority, and increase of medical effectiveness across all medical platforms. This year, as Medical Service Corps officers, we celebrate those 73 years. We can reflect on our history, celebrate our present, and embrace our future to ensure that the next 73 years are greater than the past. Happy birthday to all, and I wish you fair winds and following seas. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Greenberg. I'm an officer in the Medical Service Corps, as well as a licensed clinical social worker. Leadership through service is something that has always been ingrained in me since I was a child. My father was a naval captain who always taught me a leader leads from the front and is a model for others to emulate. Every day, I lead my sailors by holding myself to the highest standard and work day in and day out to make sure that our sailors and our service members are mentally prepared to protect this great nation. Not only as an officer, but as a proud father of four, I strive to show my kids good leadership qualities by serving my nation, my Native American community, and my local community. As we take the time to celebrate an important birthday of the Medical Service Corps, I want to say it's because of the Corps that I'm afforded the chance to show my passion and my drive to both my country and my profession, and I hope to inspire and show those around me good leadership through the work I do. Happy birthday, Medical Service Corps. Hello, my name is Lieutenant Cynthia Blackman, and I'm an industrial hygiene officer stationed at Naval Medical Center, San Diego. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, not everybody can be famous, but everybody can be great, because greatness is determined by service. The goal of the industrial hygienist is to keep workers, their families, and the community healthy and safe. Throughout my 20 year exposure to military environments, I have had the privilege of serving with sailors with various skill sets. Skill sets which expose them to a multitude of hazards, all of which are identified and mitigated for by naval industrial hygiene officers. General George S. Patton said, never tell people how to do things, tell them what to do, and you will be surprised by their ingenuity. This quote rings true in the field of industrial hygiene. We're often faced with situations that require flexibility and quick thinking. Our environments are dynamic and keep us on our toes. So whether I'm working to protect the health of helicopter aircrew from whole body vibration, Navy SEALs from lead and silica, to spearheading respiratory fit testing for over 3,000 healthcare workers during the COVID-19 pandemic, I love what I do. So happy birthday, Medical Service Corps. I am proud to be a part of this community that serves our country and protects our most precious assets, our sailors and Marines. My name is Lieutenant Tila Wright, and I am a medical logistician at Navy Medicine Readiness and Training Command, Camp Lejeune. Logisticians lead through service at medical treatment facilities, marine units, and ships across the world. Logisticians are responsible for the acquisition of critical supplies and equipment in support of direct patient care. During COVID-19, logisticians have sourced critical personal protective equipment for healthcare workers. Sourcing supplies in the middle of a pandemic with manufacturer shortages has been extremely challenging, but very rewarding. The support staff and supply have worked closely with healthcare workers to locate alternative medical products to ensure patient care continues. I am proud to lead the divisions of acquisition, biomed, contract surveillance, equipment management, linen, and the warehouse. I think I speak for logisticians everywhere. We are happy to be a part of healthcare and even more proud to be Medical Service Corps officers. Happy birthday, MSCs. Hello, my name is Lieutenant Serge Kura, and I'm a healthcare administrator that specialized as a health facility planning and project officer. I'm currently stationed at the Defense Health Agency in Falls Church, Virginia, where I'm assisting the MHS transition by establishing processes and procedures for the management of the MHS facilities portfolio to include sustaining current inventory, assisting COVID-19 efforts, and translating MHS priorities into the built environment. More importantly, I'm proud to be a member of the Medical Service Corps family and to serve alongside fellow HIPPOs and MSCs that are leading military medicine and that prove the need for agile and diverse officers remains as relevant today as it did in 1947. So on behalf of all HIPPOs at DHA, BUMED, the regions, and on project sites across the world, happy 73rd birthday, Medical Service Corps. I'm Lieutenant Commander Kate Smith and I'm a pharmacist. At Naval Hospital Jacksonville, the pharmacy is leading through service by making the safety of our patients and our staff our top priority. We understand how important it is to provide safe and effective medication therapy, and we weren't about to let a pandemic keep our patients from getting their prescriptions. In order to safely deliver medications directly to patients, we expanded drive through pharmacy services and opened an innovative parking lot lobby. Keeping the focus on our patients, we offer full services with minimal contact six days a week. We had to get creative, but despite all the challenges, we continue to provide the highest quality care for our patients. I'm proud to be an MSC and proud to lead through service. Hello, 
I'm Lieutenant Commander Joseph Giesman, Aerospace Experimental Psychologist Number 148, stationed at Naval Air Station, Patuxent River, Maryland. I want to tell you about two ways I'm leading through service. I'm the lead designer for the next generation mission planning system that will incorporate technology like machine learning and augmented reality into aviation mission planning, and will be used by every naval aviator and air crew across the fleet once deployed. Additionally, my research into 3D printed personalized fit oxygen masks for long duration comfortable wear in tactical aircraft is being repurposed into personal protective equipment for the medical crew across pack fleet for the fight against COVID-19. I'm proud to be an officer of the United States Navy, an AEP, and a member of the United States Navy Medical Service Corps. And I look forward to the challenges tomorrow. Happy birthday, MSC. I'm Lieutenant Dan Xu, a scientist in Navy Medical Service Corps, Biochemistry Toxicology Company, stationed here in Lamar-Dayton. My community supports the Navy through scientific oversight, technical and administrative expertise, research, and development. Here in Lamar Dayton, I serve as department head and the lead of research team investigating what is toxic to our warfighters and why do some of them experience adverse health effects and how we can predict those threats to prepare them for the future fight. I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve alongside officers from other diverse MSC communities. Working in a strategic goal group, I lead a team to ensure our career development board has a strong middle suite platform to deliver timely and transparent communication. I am honored to serve our country as a U.S. Navy scientist. Happy birthday, Medical Service Corps. Morning, good evening, fellow MSC superstars. My name is Lieutenant Commander Eugene Smith, Jr., and I'm the Director for Administration at Naval Hospital Guantanamo Bay. For me, leading through service means establishing a culture that enables my team to crawl to create a foundation, walk to execute their craft, run to become trusted partners, grow to act as connectors, and transform to be that catalyst for change. I accomplish this through three basic tenets. The first being empowerment, where presence, visibility, and coaching are instrumental. I use my position to act as a force multiplier while ensuring that my staff, sailors, and MSCs are connected, educated, and well-informed well -informed on all blossoming tenets of DHA, Navy Medicine, and our Corps. Second, I use transparent communication. This allows me to willingly accept feedback, reflect, and adjust course as necessary. During times of uncertainty, one cannot over-communicate. Lastly, I achieve accountability through expectation management. I call this the 95% rule. This allows my staff to understand what I expect from them and more importantly, what they can expect from me. In closing, happy 73rd birthday, MSCs. I challenge each of you to be that multifaceted linchpin and or finisher that continues to drive Navy medicine to achieve during these times of uncertainty. Thank you. Shipmates, greetings from the Office of the Chief of Naval Operations N1. I'm Lieutenant Commander Sandeep Kumar, proud member of the elite Navy Medical Service Corps manpower and personal community. Leading through service is not a buzz phrase for me, it is my passion. As we navigate through some challenging times in the history of the military health system, in our Navy and our great nation, leading through service is essential to personal and professional success. To me, leading through service means genuinely taking care of others before self so that they can be their best selves. I'm always leading through service by focusing on three key elements, the people, the purpose, and the promise. I'm always committed to making authentic relationships with people through effective communication. I'm always driven by purpose to find meaning in everything that I do. I'm always keeping my promise to build trust. As we commemorate our core's 73rd birthday, I challenge you all to remember the people, remember the purpose, and remember the promise. Always lead through service. Thank you. On August 4th, 1947, the Medical Service Corps was established as the Navy's newest, most unique staff corps. Just over a month later, 251 officers took the oath becoming Medical Service Corps' plank owners. These were all veterans of the service, who had served in various capacities in World War II as medical administrators and logisticians, optometrists, pharmacists, and different specialties within the Allied Sciences. Sixteen of them were even veterans of the First World War. The overwhelming majority were Mustangs, having served at one time or another as enlisted hospital corpsmen. Among the plank owners was a witness to Pearl Harbor, who operated as a, as a decedent affairs officer in those difficult days after the attack.
There were former prisoners of war who toiled away at notorious prison camps like Bilibid. There were the first uniformed optometrists who initiated the very concept of operational optometry and organized the Navy's first mobile optometry and optical units. And then there were the entomologists, who represented the first uniformed scientists to be deployed into an active war zone. The incredible knowledge and expertise of these plant coders, all of whom would be vital for the war effort, was the very reason for the establishment of the Medical Service Corps in 1947. Although many of them had served in the war as hospital corpsmen and pharmacy warrant officers, many more of them were serving in temporary positions as hospital corps officers and hospital volunteer specialists. These were positions were first authorized in July 1941 and were only supposed to last the period of the national emergency. After the war, as the Navy shifted into a historic demobilization period, many of these officers were serving on borrowed time. And when these temporary positions ended, there was just no place for them in the U.S. Navy. The loss certainly would have been catastrophic for the Navy and Navy Medical Department, would not be able to achieve its core mission. To address this need, the Navy proposed legislation to establish a permanent commission grade of medical administrator in the Hospital Corps, and also to establish a Medical Associated Sciences Corps within the Medical Department. The Armed Services Committee, reviewing these bills, and another one put forth by the U.S. Army, consolidated these three bills into one. The result was the Army-Navy Medical Service Corps Act of 1947. Signed into law on August 4, 1947, the Act authorized the formation of a Medical Service Corps in both the Army and Navy. It also provided that all those serving in temporary appointments as medical administrators, optometrists, and allied scientists could now apply for permanent commissions as Medical Service Corps officers. And warrant officers could now be promoted to commission ranks and be assigned to high-level administrative positions. The new Corps was organized into four sections, administration and supply, pharmacy, optometry, and the allied sciences, which at the time was comprised of 18 different specialties. Of course, over the ensuing years, there is much debate about the role and organization of the Medical Service Corps, where it would fit, and who would oversee such a disparate and diverse group of specialists. But on August 4th, 1947, the Navy achieved one of its greatest victories by ensuring a continuity of service and ensuring that it had its arsenal of knowledge and expertise for navigating those stormy seas in the era of the Cold War. Today, we celebrate those men and women of the Medical Service Corps, those plank owners, and those who have continued to build their proud legacy of service. To the Medical Service Corps and its 31 specialties, happy 73rd. Hey, Medical Service Corps, Admiral Weber here from sunny San Diego. Lieutenant Fashan joining me for the Naval Medical Forces Pacific MSC birthday cake cutting ceremony. I want to say happy birthday to all MSCs worldwide. Um, thanks for what you're doing. Uh, thanks for taking care of the Navy and Marine Corps team. Lieutenant. All right, I wish everyone a, a, a safe and happy birthday. Lieutenant Fashan and I are going to wash our hands, make sure we're socially distanced. Uh, be good and take care of yourself. Happy birthday, MSCs.